going on in the kitchen. Elizabeth and I were just getting down with the bad sales. <laughs> Elizabeth Yarnell is on a mission to help busy people eat healthy, home-cooked meals without sacrificing their time, money, or taste buds. And after a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis 11 years ago, it really forced her to take a good look at her diet and lifestyle, and she dove into the researching, the connection between what we eat and how we feel. I'm so happy to welcome back Elizabeth uh, in the Colorado and Company Kitchen, where we are going to learn more about glorious one-pot meals. She's also going to guide us through a tasty dish, honey and spicy pork, and I am telling you, this should be smell-o-vision. It smells delicious. <laughs> welcome back. Thank you. I'm so glad to be back. So this is a really good Father's Day this dish, is. don't you think? It is a great Father's Day dish. This is actually a huge crowd pleaser. It came out of my first cookbook, and it, I consider it a sleeper favorite, but amazingly, so many people come up to me and tell me it is their favorite recipe. It's their kid's favorite recipe. It's their dad's favorite recipe. Everybody, and it's so easy. Well, I'm glad you mentioned your first book because it was released by Random House. Very successful. Why is this cookbook different? Well, actually, the second book was released by Random the second, House. second, okay. The first book was self-published. The first book was much smaller, and most of the recipes, not all of them, made it into the the current book by Random House. But very successful. Yes, it's done very well. I've sold more than 20,000 books so far. Congrats. Thank you. So do you need to follow? I think one of the biggest problems with me anyway in the kitchen is if I have to follow a recipe to the exact because um, I have issues with that. It never turns <laughs> out right. Do you have to do that with your cookbook? You and I are kindred spirits, Denise, yes. because I can't follow a recipe either to save ah. my life. So no, I like to cook intuitively, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's just really quickly get started as we're chatting. And this is different than what how we normally cook. No, well, yes, different in regular ways, but all of my recipes use a cast iron Dutch oven like this one. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is just give it a quick little spray. This is just canola oil right here. And that's all the oil that I use in most of my recipes. And we're going to do the lid, too. The lid and the bottom. Here, I can show it really quick so you can just see how she has lightly covered it with oil. Okay, go ahead. Put the lid out of the way here. And the first thing we're going to put in is some pork tenderloin. So this is a boneless pork mm -hmm. tenderloin here. And you can use chicken, you can use salmon. It doesn't really matter what protein you use. In fact, sometimes I use some pork tenderloin and some chicken, and then I can... Uh, feed everybody in my family very happily. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. And how many people in your family? In my family, we have two adults and two children. Okay. Yep. So then we're going to make the sauce next. Mm -hmm. And the sauce this time is very easy, honey and spice pork. So Ooh. if you would like to help me, I have, this is three tablespoons of of Cajun mustard, but you okay. can use Dijon if you'd like. Yeah, go ahead and use the spatula. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then to that, we're going to add some ground ginger. This mm -hmm. is about half a teaspoon. And if you'd like to grab that honey, that's about a quarter of a cup of honey. Does it matter what type of honey it we're using It doesn't, here? but I always like to use locally collected honey whenever I can because okay. it's better for you. Yeah. And this is a great recipe, too, because I've been really involved with the National MS Society lately, particularly because I have MS. And honey and cinnamon together are thought to reduce inflammation, which is a major cause of MS and other autoimmune You're diseases. You're kidding. Honey you and know? cinnamon together. Does mm -hmm. it matter the quantity that you mix? Not or? necessarily. Okay. But the two of them together are really great anti-inflammatory properties. So the last thing I put in, I put in cinnamon and cloves mm -hmm. and with the honey and the mustard and that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and put that over. Just on top? Just on top. Okay, spread it all around. Boy, that is simple. Isn't that easy? Yeah. And then I have these little gourmet little fingerling potatoes that I love and I've sliced a bunch of them in half here. Okay. We're going to drop these and in. And you can buy the potatoes at any You can use any store. potatoes that okay. you'd like to use. Those I, are just easier. These are just so much fun. I like the little mini things these mm -hmm. days. I've been kind of into that. And it fits in the in the one pot meal. <laughs> it does. It does. But you can use whole potatoes or sweet potatoes or anything uh -huh. that you'd like to use. And then I have these little leftover baby carrots from a veggie platter that I put together for a party this weekend. So oh, we're going to toss these in here. Okay. You don't have to cut them up? Nope. They're okay. going to be great. Really simple. Really easy. You're done with that one. That's it? Yep. Let's do just a little bit of light salt and pepper, and you want to be really, it's, I always turn this upside down, you want to be really gentle with it, not too much. Okay, see, this is bad when I can't, does this one go upside <laughs> yeah, down? Yeah, that one goes oh, upside okay. down. Oh, okay. It's bad when I can't even use a salt shaker. Between the My two husband's of us. like, why did I marry her again? <laughs> okay, and then the last thing we're going to put in are the green beans. There we go, I got some out. Okay. Yep. There how many? Go. How much uh, green beans? How many? Well, you can see that I'm just very free form okay. in everything that I do. So I'm going to put in everything I have here and load it up. You want your pot filled up pretty much to the brim if you can. This is going to feed 
two people. Actually, this will feed myself, my husband, and my two kids. Yummy, love so it. So it's quite a bit of food. And healthy. And we yep. just put the lid on. Put the lid on. How long do we cook it? It's going to go into a fully preheated 450 degree oven for 45 minutes. For 45 minutes, and then we're done, and that's it. And then it. you're done. How excellent. Yes. You said you were really involved with a lot of MS events. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the cycling that you've been involved with. Well, actually, I've been involved with the MS walks, mm -hmm. and now I'm helping to promote the MS bike and the MS hikes events that are coming up. Great. So I was present at three of the, f I think, four or five MS walks in May mm -hmm. around Colorado. I was hosting the Land of Nutrition for them and talking to people about healthy eating because I really think that that's the key to being healthy, no matter if you have MS or not. And now the MS bike is coming up. The registrations are closed. It's coming up in a week or two. But you can still go online and donate to your, support your favorite team. Mm -hmm. And also the MS hike. There are two hike events coming up, one in Copper Mountain in July and the other one in September. And you can still sign up for those. Copper Mountain's just absolutely beautiful. And you're living proof. Look, proof. Look how healthy you are, too. I do feel very healthy this, at this point in my life. You're also an avid blogger. People can follow your blog. It's true. And I've really gotten very involved and interested in food food sensitivities and food allergies lately and I blog a lot about that as well as I give recipes for healthy eating, I give gluten free recipes, I give dinner recipes, all sorts of different things, talk about natural remedies, lots of different stuff. And where can everyone find your book? So my book is available at any bookstore around the country as well as online at Amazon or BNN, any place like that. And the name of it one more time? Glorious One Pot Meals mm -hmm. and if you come to my website there's free streaming video demonstrations, there's questions and answers and I answer all emails. What I love about you, you're, you're a mom. You're like everyone <laughs> out there watching the show and you thought I gotta do something that's healthy for myself and healthy for my family and you've created something you're quite the entrepreneur and helping <laughs> others out really well it's really been I consider this to be a blessing in my life that I discovered this whole concept of healthy eating and that it has allowed me to spread this message across the country and I do go around the country and speak at different events and corporate events lunch and learns all sorts of groups bring me in to come speak about healthy eating and give cooking demonstrations how do they get in touch with you if they want to book you for one of uh, their meetings to have you speak all they need to do is go through one of my websites. They okay. can find me at elizabethyarnell.com or if you Google One Pot Meals, I usually come up first. And how many meals are in your cookbook? Oh, you know, I, over a hundred in this version of the cookbook, yes. Okay, well great. Always nice to see it's you. It's so good to see you too, Denise. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to learn more about Elizabeth and her Glorious One Pot Meals book, log on to gloriousonepotmeals.com. And if you'd like to inquire about an appearance by Elizabeth at your event, please call this number. Easy to remember. 303 830 cook and you can find the honey and spice pork recipe on our website at coloradoandco.com and click on recipes for more information about the cycling events that elizabeth just told us about go ahead and log on to nationalmssociety.org forward slash chapters now the hike ms is the first such event in the nation the bike ms is closed for registrations but still accepting donations and support for team riders